If you're watching this, that means you've watched probably a dozen videos comparing these two guys or very in-depth technical vids on both the common or Lanzi and the newer carbon tripods. You probably looked at peak design and you probably arrived at the same conclusion that paying for a tripod half a price of a decent camera is a little bit bonkers. And these copies are actually really freaking good. If you looked into these reviews properly, you'll notice that there's not much difference between them. Actually, I would argue that they are the same tripod. When you look at the barcode for both Ulanzi and the newer, it kind of says the same thing halfway through changing some of the digits, but <laughs> I think these are the same thing apart from one major difference, which I'll explain later, that kind of a was deal breaker for me, but it probably won't be a deal breaker for you. There isn't a huge deal of difference between the weight of these. There's like 30 grams, which is negligible. If you look closely at these two, I mean, the legs are exactly the same. The clamps are exactly the same. Those little things here that allow you to extend the legs, those clips, they're exactly the same on both. Like there's no difference between them. They both extend the same way. So they allow you to go really low to the ground. They allow you to work in pretty weird terrain you can kind of stabilize them anywhere you are but to be fair if it's really tricky i still use my gorilla pod to attach my cameras even to dodgy places like that tree branch and that's holding a canon 70d along with 70 to 200 f4 which is pretty significant and i've been using this thing forever Never really failed me apart from a few falling attempts, but I always managed to catch my camera before it hit the ground. As you probably have seen on all the other videos, both these tripods have a little tool attached to the bottom of that center leg. Now, it kind of screws in the same. The problem with the Ulanzi is that this is wobbly as hell. So if you're walking with this, I know it's not a biggie, but I can hear this, it pisses me off. I don't like things rattling, especially in a carbon tripod that you're spending quite a lot of money for because even though these are less than half price of the peak design, it's still a lot of money for something that's holding up your camera. And if you're asking yourself a question of whether you need one of these or you can get away with cheap Amazon tripod that I've been using in the studio for absolute ages, is whether you travel with these or not. And I'm not talking just going for a quick hike because that's irrelevant, but if you're flying anywhere, every kilogram counts and you know that if you're packing up and you're putting a lot of gear in, having a couple of kilos shaved off here in there makes a huge difference. And that's why I went with one of these guys. And to be fair, for studio purposes, if you're just filming yourself, the cheap tripods do the job just perfectly. Don't get yourself caught out by all those influencers hyping up the gear just to get a little bit affiliate sales. I'm still gonna leave a couple of links below because it helps, but I don't really care if you go buy one or not because you shouldn't be spending money on the stuff you really don't need. The big difference between these two is how you attach the camera to both tripods. And now both of them are using Arca Swiss type plate, but that doesn't mean that this is a universal system. So my aim, typically when I'm building up my gear, is that it just should be working straight out of the box, that I can just assemble it, and go about my day. The problem with custom plates is that you need to remember to take them with you, and I really don't want to do that. I've got a small rig cage around my camera that fits my DJI Ronin, that fits my Gorilla Pod, and the idea here is I need a system that allows it just to clip in straight up without me having to remember to carry another piece of gear. Newer has this really cool quick release system that allows you to clip your camera in quickly and clip it out quickly. My problem is that I clipped it out a few times when I didn't want to quick release it. And I really appreciate what they're trying to do. Having that clip system that just allows you to quickly release your camera to take a photo if you've got a backpack system or even clip it into your tripod is amazing. However, it means that if you want to put it back onto your gimbal, you have to unscrew that plate and put a different plate in, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a unified system. I don't mind having to tighten the QR plate or tighten the Arca Swiss plate actually uh, by hand. It takes a couple of seconds, it's not a big job, and I can reassure myself that I did proper job when I tightened it. I've used both of these tripods in pretty windy conditions, filming my mates kite surfing. Both held up really well, both had zero issues holding up a a 70D with 150 to 600 Sigma lens, which is super heavy. Oh, by the way, there's a link for Atlas below that will give you two months free and you'll have access to all the music, sound VFX, stock footage, plugins, titles, everything you really need to create awesome videos. I'm really bad at making these plugs, geez. 
So the question really here is whether you want a system that allows you to just do one thing, or you want a universal plate that you do have to screw in to go in like full manual mode on this. I, I don't mind screwing stuff. So by no means I'm saying that one is much better than the others. It just feels for my purposes, having this dude just makes my life a little bit easier. And I appreciate you can probably get some place that would work across the board at some point. I'm just trying to find a way for me to make my life much easier. And this thing just works. But like I mentioned before, using the Gorilla port kind of solves 99% of my traveling problems. It's not really heavy. You just get really weird looks at the airport sometimes when they take it out and it just looks like anal balls. Also, given how often I bash the life out of my gear, I'm not 100% sure how long this is gonna last. The carbon on this seems to be solid enough and uh, yeah, well, time will tell. If it breaks within, oops, sorry, Tofs. Anyway, if it breaks, I'll do an update, but I think this should be solid enough to survive a couple of years. You're wet. You're super wet. It just works. It just fits into my quiver much better. But if you're not concerned with that, then the newer system is actually a really good choice because A, it's cheaper and B, <laughs> this QR, despite me being clumsy as hell, is actually really handy. Uh, I do like the clipping in and also, listen to this. Nothing's rattling and it might be just my model. So I don't know, we'll see if this is just limited to my my tripod just reach out please or if you guys own one and it doesn't rattle let me know because that means i need to get that bit replaced but otherwise like i said these two are identical the heads are a little bit different and the quick release system is different and the newer doesn't rattle <laughs> but honestly they work really really well i'm pretty stoked and sadly the newer has to go back because it doesn't fit into my whole setup otherwise yeah i would 100 keep this one because it's same thing just cheaper Hope this helps in the, uh, you know, the usual.